It's no secret that the art world is filled with the cast of characters, and my next guest is no exception. He's a self-described firecracker. He's Iranian-born, Iowan by choice, and creates exquisite Islamic art on his Amish farm. In this segment of Frame, the world-renowned Jafar Mogadam is joining me to teach us about Islamic art. Welcome to Frame. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much sir. Appreciate I appreciate it. Thank you. It. In today's environment, politically, economically, and culturally, it's still clear to me that there's so much confusion and exactly. misunderstanding between cultures. Exactly. I'm dedicating this show to helping others to understand about various cultures, and I think one very important right now is, is the um, Muslim community and understanding the Islamic world. Exactly. And so I'm asking you to guide us through this discussion to educate us so that we can oh, gain wonderful. more understanding. Sure. Well, we can start with uh, describing in very brief, a very general term, uh, Islamic civilization. What okay. combines, make the Islamic civilization, of course, is the people that make the civilization. And what is so unique about this civilization that is called Islamic? Well, as you mentioned, it's the religion of Islam that combines all these variations of societies, governments, countries in a more uniform concept and coherence. Now, like any other religion, they need a place to worship. And very early in Islam, since Muslim did not have any architectural form of their own, they came to be and witnessing the need for a unique form of architecture that would be different from others and especially be tailored for the Muslims that need to be pray, as you mentioned, five times a day. They needed to build mosque would satisfy their people's need. All right. So that's how the foundation of mosque began. Mosque, which is the basic and the most characteristic of Islamic architecture. And there are four kinds, but this one, as you can see here, is called a Friday mosque because it has to take several thousand people to prayer. I spent about six months painting this. Some of it is very, very factual. Okay. The basic of the dome is a very fundamental. The very unique form of Islamic architecture is this rectangular. Yes. And then this Roman arch at the center. You also have this, which is called minarets. I read that this was taken from uh, Christian bell towers. This unique form is for Muazzin or the person that goes up here five times a day and call the people to prayer. Understand. And Islam kept these characteristics. So there are three bays here. Three rectangles. And then when the the prayer is going to start. This door opens up. You go inside. The opposite wall is the most important part of a mosque because that wall is directionally situated that faces Mecca. Okay. In every mosque. Every mosque. And at the center of that wall, which is called Qibla wall, there is a niche, blind niche, that's called mihrab. 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 Right in front of that mihrab, which is opposite of this entrance wall, yes. the imam stands up and celebrates the prayers, and everyone else line up behind him. As you can see, there is no shading. Islamic art is very flat, very abstract. The only way you can sense and feel the space is by the way I use the colors. As you can see, lighter colors 
darker colors. Now, is everything here real? No, of course not. There are certain elements of idealism. Such the as? The beautiful landscape on the background, as you can see, so there's an old added up. The tile pond, abolition pond, is added up. What does that mean, abolition? Abolition fountain is the very essential in any mosque. Every prayer that goes inside have to wash symbolically pure himself. Yes. Washes his hand, mm -hmm. washes his foot, washes his front forehead mm -hmm. before he goes inside. I understand. Okay. And that has to be a running water. Okay. It's called abolition fountain. And of course, I decided to have this beautiful tiled <laughs> pond. It's and in no way you can see any tiled back or courtyard. This is also added up. Okay. So it's according to my taste, but I wanted to gather this, but, but these are all essential. Now, as you can see, there is calligraphic reproduction of Quran here, here, and then over here, and also there. There might be other places as well, but anybody that goes in there look can, can look up and read the writing, which is extracted from the Quran on the benefits of prayer and paying attention to his religious thought and actions on both a tribune. Basically, this is what constitutes an Islamic architecture. Okay. Now, there are variations of it. There are different materials that are used in different countries. Uh -huh. But there is no way any of them can have a sculpture inside. There is no painting of any deities inside any of these mosques. And they are all horizontally and vertically are related to one point, and that is Mecca, Mecca. in Saudi Arabia. Thank you so <laughs> You're much. You're quite welcome. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you for tuning in to Frame. Frame is sponsored by Allegra, Click Marketing Solutions, Dial Folio Jewelry.